Hey guys, it's Nicola with your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. These are general readings, guys. They will not resonate with everyone. Make sure that you check your sun, moon, and rising. For those of you that would like to purchase a personal read from me, you can hit me up on my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. You can also hit me up on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net, to check out all of the services I offer. If you guys would like instant access to me 24 hours a day, you can gain that through Instant Go. Type in www www.instantgo.com slash instant wisdom or you can also download that on your app store for my iphone ios if you're new to my channel please make sure you hit the red subscribe button on the side as well as the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i do my whenever i do my new reads pisces, it's nicola so let's see what we got for august 2018 this is for pisces sun moon rising and, and uh <laughs> And Aquarius and Venus. So you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius. We had two poppers that pop out. Someone's focusing on evening out the scales in a situation. Someone either feels like they've been begging and now their focus is evening out the scale. Or someone's coming to bring this. But there's a real focus on finishing out old debt, getting new opportunities, evening out your um evening out the playing field. I'm thinking. Got Pisces. August 2018. Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, August 2018. What messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, August 2018. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Boy, this shift is hard to stay grounded. Okay. So someone may be coming back to even the playing field. Judgment card here, Ace of Pentacles, Death card, Tower card. Something is ending. Some type of ending suddenly. I'm not going to. Yeah, it's transforming. If it's not ending, it's transforming. You're either cutting situations, doing what you know is right, uh, removing yourself from restrictions and kind of leveling or balancing yourself to move towards something greater for you. Some of you guys are trying to correct the issues that are, that have been affecting your life. Judgment card here. You're waking up. Within this wake up, there's a new opportunity. Something has to end. Something has to transform. Something has transformed. This is in the past position. So some of you guys could be dealing with a seductress, someone who's offering something that isn't stable. Some of you guys could be focusing on moving forward. I got the King of Wands and Queen of Wands moving forward towards something more passionate, towards something more level here. The King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of uh, Pentacles. Something more evenly balanced. Um not seeing relationship or not um the whatever it is you're moving toward it's more balanced for you you've been at a stagnation but now you're transforming the energy around that um but this tower card i believe this is self-induced meaning you put an end to something that you felt like um wasn't correct for you only because with the death and tower this is like this is self-actualization and you putting it into this. If not, something happened very fast. You woke up and you see that there's something greater for you. You see the bigger picture here. With judge, with uh, the Ace of Pentacles in between judgment and death, you see the bigger picture. Something may have come undone. Something may have come apart. Um, shook some things loose. But in order for you to kind of gain your footing. Right now, we got the Eight of Swords. So you feel trapped but you know what you need to do. You're trying to balance out um, this situation. Maybe balance out uh, a love. Maybe balance out some emotions. Queen of Cups here. You could be dealing with a water sign. Um, female water sign. Someone who's very emotional. So you could be dealing with emotions. You could be cutting that out. The Justice card. You could be seeing through um, the fluid fluidity of whoever's emotions this is because i believe whoever this queen of cups is is the reason why you're feeling trapped okay and you're putting an end to that with the death card with this with this crown and the death card like this you're putting a, a, an, an end to that and you're trying to balance out something new with an ending so you're ending something trying to balance something new um something come undone it's affecting two different people but maybe you realize that it wasn't um stable so you may be nurturing yourself right now putting an end to this unsteady unshaky um unfulfilling 
whatever this was. So if this is a job, you may be shaking loose from it, realizing that you need to transform something within that in order to get something new, taking responsibility for your own actions in your own um, feeling of being trapped cutting away anything that makes you feel trapped. You may be expecting the worst, but you're trying to balance that out and you're really trying to make some moves to take a step forward. Some of you guys you could be dealing with someone new, a Taurus, new person. You could be dealing with a relationship or someone was manipulative. Um, page of one, someone could have, um, this could be somebody new for some of you guys. Someone new, water sign female, new coming in slowly. Um, they may be getting over this tower action as well, ending getting over this ending. So I believe if you guys are connecting with someone new, that they're getting past this 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 transformation, this rapid transformation that has taken place, they're waking up as well. Um, this might be a, a someone you worked with or I want to say soulmate, but I don't know if it's, I can't read right now if it's a romantic soulmate, but this person does have some type of love interest. This person may be a mother as well. Um, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. If you're dealing with a woman, she may be someone you're you want to be, or suddenly you feel emotionally connected to. But they're also sort of a, a very motivated, very highly sexual type of person. Um, so that may be what has attracted you. But for some reason, you still feel trapped. You've waken up and you realize that you're trapped in the situation or in a, um, some of you guys are trapped by needing to do what's right within the partnership or a marriage or something. Could be legal issues, ending legal issues, ending contracts, ending marriages. Um, there's a new opportunity present, but there has to be a lot of transformation in order for it to be presented to you. Because literally, I wish I could just snapshot this. We're going from judgment to this opportunity. You waking up to this opportunity being presented to you so that something, once this opportunity is presented, this thus makes something change in your life drastically. Death card, tower card. You feel trapped by this change, but you're trying to balance out this new opportunity and the change. You're trying to nurture yourself, but you're, you're praying for some type of guidance, some type of um, intuition, and you're going to get that, okay? You're going to get that. Good news is coming once this situation is leveled out, once you are balanced, because this same pinnacle that's being presented up here from heaven is now being offered to you it's slow now, but it's being offered to you as your outcome for August 2018. So basically the angels here with judgment present you this new opportunity. But in order for you to get this new opportunity, you got to go through these mass transformations, death, tower card, eight of swords. Meaning you have to remove yourself from whatever is making you feel restricted. Whatever is causing conflict, causing an uproar in your life, making you feel restricted. You have to take the responsibility within yourself with the justice card to end, cut, sever any ties, any situations, whether this is a job, whether this is a relationship, and nurture yourself, take care of yourself. This can also represent someone new coming in, this queen of wands energy, very passionate energy that feels very much balanced to you, and you're wanting to give this situation a chance, but the separation now is the transformation that needs to take place within your life. The page of wands here, power in the page of wands, this is you finding out good news about a contract, finding out good news about some type of um, marriage or some type of business with the knight of pentacles bam all of this work you get this pentacle you get this knight coming in he's slow as ever but the only thing i can say about the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles even though he is the slowest moving knight in the deck he comes he's more stable than any other knight okay what he brings is stability he brings a foundation he brings something that can grow something that can expand something that will last for centuries for a lifetime for legacies unlike the other knights who bring in something fast it may be good but it's still fast you know this is something steady something um very much in alignment with what it is that you desire okay so let's see what we got going on we're going to clarify these put them in an order i'm gonna clarify them y'all know i'm weird like that so we're gonna start we're gonna clarify this judgment here why is judgment card you woke up and realize you need to let something go and move in a new direction. Ace of Pentacles, there's a new opportunity. 
Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So you woke up and realized that you need to light the fire under your ass and get it moving. Or some of you guys woke up and seen this Queen of Wands and realized this is what I want. So this is what I'm going to work toward. I'm going to release myself from whatever's been holding me back, whatever's keeping me restricted, whatever has me guarded. And I'm going to jump for this opportunity. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Many. All right, perfect. Um, yeah. So the opportunity is the Queen of Wands for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this is an energy, something very motivated happening to your life, maybe a new job, a new opportunity for a job, something that you've been wanting to do for a big majority majority of you this is a person um this queen of wands energy is someone who motivates you to do something more passionate for yourself motivates you to follow within your path six of i mean the son of cups knight of cups someone's offering a proposal okay they're offering a proposal this is a soulmate card six of cups this could also be dealing with children this can be um a proposal to move forward within a relationship maybe something that you dreamed about because i am getting um with the seven of cups maybe you dreamed about this this could be someone from the past coming back and offering you um what it is that you desire but in order to get this offer very death card death card why is this death card here something has to transform why is this death card here why is this death card here Ooh, okay. Mm. So what's going to transform is your burdens. <laughs> You're going to release those burdens to the ones. You're going to look past this illusion. No more illusions. Two of swords in reverse. Okay. No more illusions. The transformation is now you are going to see your life clearly. Whatever was burdening you, whatever was causing conflict within your life, whatever was holding you down and making you feel left out, imbalanced, uneasy restricted unable to really make a move mentally physically emotionally that is ending that is what's transforming in your life if this is a person that has had you in this situation they're leaving and i'm not saying that they're gonna leave you but possibly are you gonna leave them regardless of what happens something is transforming so that this new opportunity that spirit is handing you this ace of pentacles from the clouds i'm giving you your abundance baby it's you getting it it's coming but you got to get rid of all the stagnation all the negativity, anything that's holding you back, restricting you, causing a blockage in your enlightenment or your movement forward, okay? Tower card. Why is this tower card here? Some of you guys are waking up and you see this, so you're, move, you're trying to focus on this new pinnacle. Some of you guys, this is a painful experience, but you're still focusing on changing or transforming your life so that you can get these new opportunities. Why is the tower card here? Why is the tower card here? Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. So whoever this Queen of Cups energy with this Tower card, you're going to find out the truth about someone that you've dealt with, someone that may have been manipulative, mischievous, um, extending their energy out, maybe even a player type of energy. Um, if this is a woman, this is someone that you're emotionally involved with. If this is a man, this is a woman that shows you some type of emotion and you feel. It's because I've got this twice and it's kind of crowning each other. So this Queen of Cups energy, maybe a water sign female or just someone who shows um, a lot of emotion. Maybe even with the Five of Swords um, being manipulative with emotions. Okay, and you may realize this. You may see this. So this could be a situation where maybe with the King of Pentacles, someone or the knight of pentacles someone sees that you have something to offer them and maybe you restrict yourself from them and they you know turn the waterworks on oh why are you doing this why are you doing this da, 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 da. so this may be you waking up and realizing look i'm not gonna keep doing this you're not gonna keep using your emotions or using your desires or using your words or using your just in general just trying to manipulate me to get what you desire or to get your way with me that's making me feel trapped and i'm going to take a stand and do what i know is right and cut myself from the situation so with this queen of cups energy this is definitely someone that you're questioning um you're questioning their motives you're questioning their love eight of swords here you feel trapped why is this eight of swords here? and mind you the eight of swords and I, i've been saying this since i started reading for you guys the eight of swords is in our conflict five of wands eight of swords is in a conflict that this is not a physical being bound because even in the picture it shows this young lady who feels trapped because she's bound um with this cloth shit she's bound she's got this 
thing over her eyes, but it's cloth. No one's there to keep her captive. She can walk like even the swords that are supposed to be encircling her are encasing her. There's an opening. She can literally walk out. She can undo her hands and she can take off the blindfolds. But mentally, she's in conflict with herself. So she'd rather stay bound and hidden and, and in, co in conflict and in chaos within herself than to take responsibility for her own actions. So this is where this tower, once you realize that this person is manipulating you, you kind of fall back into this energy of, damn, and is it something I'm doing? Is it something I need to change? You start going into conflict with yourself, whether or not you should end this situation, whether or not you should take this new opportunity, are you making the right choice? Am I doing what's right? Release that. Okay, stop worrying about whether or not you're doing what's right. If it feels right in your soul and not just saying, oh, I think it's right. No, if it feels right in your soul, if you feel like you need to remove yourself from a situation and it just feels like there's no other way, like I have to remove yourself. Your spirit is screaming to you. Your soul is screaming to you. Get me the fuck out of this. Sometimes we ignore that feeling because we think it's fear. Okay, but when you have an an a strong feeling or a strong indication that you need to remove yourself from a place, remove yourself from a place. Okay, justice card. This is you taking responsibility for your actions. You doing what you know is right. Could be dealing with the Libra, but seeing that this is in the middle of the read, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. You doing what you know is right. You speaking up on this. Speaking up on this manipulation. Looking, I got two swords. Looking through this illusion, you're manipulating me with love. You're manipulating me with emotion. You're manipulating me with these offers of love. Death card. I'm putting an end to this. I no longer want the manipulation. I no longer want you to um, manipulate me into giving you something. Manipulate me into giving you gifts. Manipulate me into working for you. Manipulate me into talking for you, being with you. I no longer want this. So this conflict is going to end. Someone now is going to do what they know is right. I want love. I want the truth. I want you to be with me. I want you to work with me. This is what I am trying to manifest in my life. If you cannot do this, I'm going to put an end to this with a death card. I'm going to put an end to my burdens. I'm going to put an end to this situation. Not saying I'm going to hurt anyone. And please, y'all, don't hurt nobody. But someone's putting an end to, the, to whatever they feel has been done wrong to them. Whatever karma they feel like they're receiving that is unjust, even if it is just, they're putting an end to it because I've paid my dues. I've done my work in this situation. I'm either, we're either correcting it now or we're moving on. Job, relationship, don't matter. Queen of Cups, this is a general read, guys. We'll do, this is a general read, guys. We'll do the love read right after this. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Why is this Queen of Cups here? Why is this Queen of Cups here? You're going to speak your truth, Page of Swords 4. You're going to speak your truth to this Queen of Cups. You're coming in very fast now with the Eight of Wands, but you got a lot to say. There could be a lot of communication, some truths being told, and you're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy with this Four of Cups. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to feel like um, you missed an opportunity. Even though there is love here, you're going to feel like with this Page of Swords, it's not the love that I want, so I have to put an end to this. That's still changing, challenging, stopping, whatever. Knight of Swords. This is going to happen really quickly. The Hierophant here. You may be searching for some type of advice, reaching out to people, um, praying, needing guidance. So you're going to be reaching out to people for guidance. You're going to be expecting the worst. Knight of Wands, very quickly, you're going to be reaching out for guidance. You're going to be acting impulsively. With the Six of Wands, you're going to... This movement here, and even you reaching out, I do advise you to reach out. Reach out. And if it's not me, y'all, y'all don't have to reach out to me because I'm not telling you you have to get a read to me. Find the reader that resonates with you the most and i'm saying this because i got the hyphen and the star card some of you guys need some type of guidance spiritually in regards to this situation um because this could be getting out of a karmic cycle and you could possibly be going back and forth with what it is that you need to do with the hyphen and the star card it is telling you that you need some guidance for some of you guys with this nine of wands and this knight with the nine of swords and the knight of wands you're acting impulsively because you're expecting the worst you're anxious you're overly um overly stressed over the situation but this closure here is leading to the six of swords energy moving past this chaos into this rainbow you coming into your own with a page of wands this can represent good news why is this page of wands here why is this page of wands here oh great okay 
Okay, we're just going to do it with my eye. Page of Wands. Why is this Page of Wands here? World Fart. Good news. <laughs> something new coming in. Setting some boundaries. Ending something. Maybe that's the good news. You're ending something. So for some of you guys, this is the good news. The tower action, the turmoil, the um, mistrust, the lies, the karma, the chaos, the conflict, the inner conflict, all that's coming to an end. You are the page of wands in this situation, putting an end to this situation, putting in, putting up, setting up barriers to this relationship, working within yourself. This is you kind of finding your center, working within yourself after you find this guidance to move in a new direction, okay? Tower card. It's a self-actualization because in this tower card, no one's hurt. This is just lightning striking. So very clearly, you see this new opportunity. And the Knight of Pentacles, you're working toward it. You're honoring your responsibilities. You're handling your business. And you're just moving toward this new foundation, toward this Ace of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Empress Hermit, okay? Lover's card, like I said, you are moving towards your foundation very quickly. This situation with this Queen of Kings, this is Queen of Wands is someone new. So for a lot of you guys, after this transformation, after you seek through some guidance to figure out what it is that you need to do, very quickly, this situation is going to turn around. Someone's coming in and they may have been very slow before, but they're coming in to offer you something solid. With the Empress and the Hermit card, this is healing, okay? This, to me, is... Twin flame soulmate healing, okay? It's twin flame soulmate love because twin flames heal each other. So we got the hermit card here and the empress. This is something new, possibly beginning in September for a lot of you guys. Um, and I'm getting September, something flourishing in September. A relationship. This is a love. This is a relationship. This is lover's card, empress card. Some of you guys, after you go through this kind of transformation, dark night of the soul, whatever it is that you want to call it, you'll be either in contact with your twin flame, have been in contact with your twin flame, and this is why this situation is kind of leveling out and these transformations are taking place. Okay, so let's put these up and let's see what we got for love. We're going to work on couples first and then we're going to do singles. What messages do we have? Pisces. In regards to their partner and their relationship, August 2018, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In regards to their partner and their relationship, August 2018. So let's see what we got. Ten of Cups, underlying energy. New opportunity, someone new. Ending karmic situation, speaking your truth, choosing yourself. Ten of Cups. So the actions that are happening in August for you, Pisces, is that there's a new, op and I just read this in the other one. <laughs> there's a new opportunity to change your life. Someone new may be entering your life, offering you some type of emotion, some type of proposal. It's in the beginning stages. This person is brand new, or this is someone from the past is bringing a new energy. With the Justice card, this could be a Libra. This could be also you doing what you know is right, standing up for yourself. This is in the middle of the read as well. Queen of Swords, making decisions um, to choose yourself, which leads to this Ten of Cups energy. Okay? Some, this is someone from the past, or either a soulmate energy coming in. Why is this Ace of Wands here? New opportunity. The opportunity does come with something, um, some heartache, because something has been severed. Um, there has been some sorrow. But, and I don't want to say this the wrong way, and y'all be like, what? This is a part of your wish fulfillment, even the heartache. i um, not saying that you wish to have heartache, but in order for you to get this new love, this new energy in love, something had to end, okay? Nothing comes. Listen, you're in a cycle, you're not going to get anything if you're already in a relationship, and not saying you're not going to get new love in a relationship, there's an opportunity for love. If someone new comes into your life and you're in a relationship, that's an opportunity. Whether you take it or not, it's up to you. Um, but in this instance, something ended that you either were not happy about subconsciously, um, um, consciously. Either you really didn't want this and you spoke it into existence, or this is something that you were feeling. Um, but with sorrow you felt 
the pain that you needed to feel with this. Ace of Wands, Star card, there's a new opportunity for happiness. There's a new opportunity for wish fulfillment um, to change your life, to have your wishes come true. The Seven of Cups, you need to stop the illusions, get out of your head um, and move forward, okay? Three of Swords, you're in your head a lot, maybe about the past. Why is this Page of Cups here? Yep, two nines. So this new person, hopefully for some of you guys, this is a third party. I got the three of cups. Or for some of you guys, this is someone that you were maybe with before with the will of fortune and the six of pentacles. This is something changing, something balancing out within the situations. You may be newly single. You may be very um, in your head about the situation, but something's changed. There's positive change that's happened within the situation. This is some new energy within love. Justice card. Why is this justice card here? Why is this justice card here? Why is this justice card here? Six of Cups. Yeah. Some of you guys may be standing up for yourself and standing up for things that have happened in the past that have had you um, upset. Choosing yourself with the dominion, choosing to cooperate, work with yourself. Some of you guys are going back. You're cutting a situation. Um, cutting the energy to a situation, whatever's not making you happy, you're leaving it in the past with the Queen of Swords. You're choosing yourself and you're changing your life. Some of you guys, this new um, person is yourself. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Which is awesome, I think. Yeah, walking away from situations that cause strife. Um, completing cycles, eight of wands, very quickly choosing yourself with queen of wands, moving in a new direction. Some of you guys moving toward this queen of wands, ace of cups, new person, rebirth, transformation, total transformation of your life. You're making this, you're releasing your burdens and you're choosing your fucking self. Seven of wands. I love it. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands? Okay. I'm gonna stop. High priestess, you knew, you know, you knew. Now you're moving. Now you're putting the, the wheels in motion and you're making things work for you. You figured out some way, shape, or form that what you need to do to correct your, your life, your situation, and you're making moves to do it. So let's see where your partner is because this looks like you're going towards your happiness. As I've seen most of my signs are this uh, lunar eclipse that happened um, on the 27th really changed some things. <laughs> what do we have for Pisces? Someone rising Venus partners. What do their partners have as far as the concerns for the relationship? And the Pisces, August 2018. What concerns? August 2018. And for some of you guys, these these are choices that you're making, but some of you guys haven't actually put them into um, these are just choices. There isn't any actual movement. So you're thinking about changing your life and it's really coming across to your partner. So now they're waiting for you to make a move. It's coming across to them as deceptive. So they're going within, withdrawing emotionally, praying for some type of assistance, needing to say some things. So this is where the, with the Queen of Cups here, they're very emotional. This is why I kept pulling it. Your partner is very emotional. Um, they're taking a break with the Seven of Swords. Maybe they were deceptive in the past. Um, could still be deceptive because with the Seven of Swords, this is deception. Um, moving in the dark, keeping secrets. Um, karmic card, withdrawing, not being honest. Um, some of, with some of you guys, your partner is withdrawing. Marcus? Okay, withdrawing because they're emotional and they don't want to bring this wave of emotion into the situation. So the deception may be them hiding their emotions. Okay, with the three of wands, they're kind of waiting for something. Um, being patient. I believe they're being patient. No, they're being patient with themselves. Okay, so let's see why the seven of swords is here. Empress, someone may be sneaking, starting something new. Okay, they may see that you're secretly starting something new. They may um, feel like you're sneaking around. Mm -hmm. This may be the tower action. So if you're sneaking around, you're going to get caught. But I think your partner was. Seven of Swords, Lovers, Tower Cards, sneaking around. Three, three, three loves or three-way love affair. This isn't just sex. This is a whole relationship. 
four of swords someone needs to take a break um needs a truce someone wants a truce they want some balance in the situation hermit card why is this hermit here yeah so someone's holding on um very defensive about exposing their truths um needing to handle their responsibilities needing to um concentrate on healing find the strength and the power to kind of be honest and move forward or find their happiness this person may be very depressed i'm seeing a lot of dark cards so your partner could be depressed due to either the news of finding out that you're with someone or you finding out that they are with someone the four of swords wait till i get done wait till i get done four of swords why is this four of swords here why is this four of swords here? Go in there. Why is this four of swords here? Ace of swords, yep. So they are hurt <laughs> because you question their motives. Um, often no sympathy because from what I'm seeing, your partner was deceptive. And you had a right to question their motives because there was a lot of secrecy, a lot of moving in silence, um, love, not just a relation, not just um, friends with benefits type. This is a love. This person loves this other person. Um, and they may even be wanting to sneak away to them or desiring to sneak away with them or this is you. So either they're questioning your motives because you've been sweet sneaking away, expressing your love could have a pregnancy. With the Empress card, it could be a pregnancy involved, finding out about a pregnancy, finding out the truth about a pregnancy, someone withdrawing because of this truth. Um, but with the Four of Swords, someone's taking a break. They may be deciding to take a break until the truth, or they may be deciding to take a break before they come with what they know. Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Devil. I know the truth at Eight of Swords. I know why you feel trapped. I know why you want to move forward. Um, either you know what I did or I know what you did. So I don't know who did what. But somebody was definitely seeing somebody else. Somebody definitely had another relationship. Like literally two household type of situations. Got caught. Now you're at a standstill about what you need to do. Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Why is this Queen of Cups here? This is a lot of emotion. Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone... Feels defeated. This Queen of Cups energy here, or, or the woman in this situation, feels defeated. She either feels defeated because she feels like that she hasn't received the attention that she would like, um, the abundance that she would like, so she is deciding to search for something more meaningful, or she is defeated because you may realize that you've been given too much into the situation and you may be returning back to whatever made you happy. Okay. So let's see what the outcome of this relationship. And even now there is action on your partner's part with the Knight of Swords. They're coming with some messages. They got a lot to say. Um, I don't know what it is, but they got a lot to say. So what's going on with the relationship for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August 2018. What's going on with the relationship? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. August 2000. Tempers lost, people getting mad, spying, a lot of pettiness going on. A lot of pettiness going on. Y'all not gonna break up. There'll be some transformations in this relationship. Um, if you're in a relationship, for some of you guys, you are walking away. Either you or your partner's walking away searching for something more meaningful. There's an emotional withdrawal here, um, which does the death card, transformation within a situation. Some of you guys are moving toward, both of you guys may be moving toward this Two of Wands new partnership um, energy very rapidly with the Fool card, Eight of Wands, a lot of movement forward. Whatever it was found out with this Page of Pentacles and the Tempest card in reverse, Someone found something out through spying, um, investigating, whatever the case may be. You found something out and you didn't like it. So you lost your temper. And now there it is. You lost your temper. You guys broke up and now you're going towards something new. All right. So let's see what we got for my singles. God damn it. What information do you have? For my single I see sun moon rising. August 
2018. Some of you guys dealing with Sagittarius messages for, and I don't know why I just I keep pulling Sagittarius in my brain. Hmm. Some of you guys are trying to manipulate someone to um, let down their defenses. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. August 2018. Messages for single Pisces in, in search for a partner. <laughs> Y'all in conflict with somebody. Who you in conflict with? All right. One more time. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Single Pisces. What messages do you have for my single Pisces? August 2018. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Single Pisces. August 2018. For some of you guys, you feel like you're being manipulated, but you're either you're doing the manipulation and you're wanting to manipulate someone to let their guard down, to not be so defensive, to not question you so much. Um, you may have been manipulated and or you're being manipulated. Mm -mm. Someone, no, you're not being manipulated. You're trying to manifest or you're trying to basically coat someone into letting their guard down. Um, some of you guys may be very quickly wanting to move into a new relationship. You've been feeling alone, lonely. So you may be choosing a new partnership, but you need to be aware that there are some, um, mm -hmm, maybe this person that you're wanting to choose just got out of, out of a relationship you just got out of a relationship you need to take your time you're not you're moving too fast you're moving too fast with this new situation you need to choose to work on yourself you need to take your time with the four of cups you haven't healed from whatever you've hurt whatever's been hurt before um there could be some gossip within this situation this person can be with someone else or this person can be um a pauper um like they can you can have a higher status than they can if you feel what i'm trying to tell you fuck what everybody else say because this person loves you you love them you guys are choosing each other with the ace of cups and the lovers card here but this in the middle someone feels left out so either you're choosing this third party here someone from the past and you're making someone else feel left out and this is happening very fast causing some type of cost fit um loss of temper someone moving away taking a new leap of faith this could very well be that you're going back to someone um and it's, it's causing issues there and there is um some very petty behavior going on from someone very childish behavior but it's because someone has basically um given up their defenses within a situation they don't want to continue to fight but they are being manipulative and they're wanting you to kind of lower your defenses and join them don't lower your vibrations to this stay above get this five of pentacles energy out this five of pentacles energy only has you acting erratic or have you acting um insecure this is just a feeling of being left out in the cold. There's love here. So someone loves you, okay? You may be taking a leap of faith with this person. This person may be taking a leap of faith with you. Um, the manipulation. Just be aware of it, okay? Let's see. What do my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to focus on? 2018 to bring more love in their surroundings. See what we got tolerance it says you appreciate others points of view because you sense the love that is within everyone so this could be telling you that you need to become a little bit more tolerant with the people that you're dealing with pisces okay what message do you have in love for my pisces sun moon rising and Venus. august 2018 pisces sun moon rising and Venus. august 2018 Trust. It says the situation is calling for you to have faith. There may be a separation um, coming or happening right now. You need to put trust in the situation. Have faith that everything will work out the way that it needs to. Okay, so let's see what we got for August 2018. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Horizon? August 2018. What messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising. August 2018. What messages do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for 2018. I wonder why I wouldn't stop. I wasn't saying it right. All right. Be honest with yourself, Pisces. What is your heart's true desire? With Kuan Yin, this talks about releasing judgments about yourself, others, and focus on the light and love that is within everyone. Some of you guys are becoming increasingly sensitive. You need to re remove yourself from harsh situations, harsh environments, harsh relationships, and put a blockage against further penetrations. For a lot of you guys, there's some movement that has happened. Um, someone has either moved in and out of your life, in and out of your household, or you out of theirs it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants that's all i got for my pisces y'all peace